Okay, I'm fixing to take apart the second bed of a prior Plain and Pearl automatic home knitting machine. Um, the bed is, as you can see, still intact for this side. The other side has been removed. It had two wing nut screws that came off and the bed was removed. It's already been taken apart and is already in cleaning. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is roll this guy over. And at this point, as you can see, we've got screws that are coming up from below the bed. So this is not going to come off until the bed is actually clear. It's got these two screws here, which I will loosen. They actually go into the back side of... In the back side of this metal piece here which keeps these guys tight um, and I will show you that whenever I take this off. This guy is, has a T groove that it is slid into and I will show you how to loosen that and get it off in just a moment. So first break. Hold on. Okay first thing is to slide these end pieces off. Um, you can kind of hear that it's got just a little bit of give. What I do is I'm going to take this and put it right in this little groove here. You can see how it moves it down. So it is now open. Then I'm going to turn it over and I'll catch right at the edge of where the, uh, the groove is so that I don't pry on it anywhere else. Hold on just a minute. Okay. Can you see this little piece right there? That is where I'm going to pry and basically just pull straight out. Yep. See, these two T pieces fit into a groove on the front. Let me get it turned over and I will show you. And both end pieces have to be removed the same way. Get this turned back over. Those T pieces fit straight into this groove, or T groove, and this metal piece is held on by the two screws from the back, just as I'd shown you before. These screws here hold on this particular bracket piece. These little bob pieces hold it in four square. So these will have to be removed before these guys slide out of place. Um, You'll also notice there is a, uh, a sharpened um, metal rod here. There's, there should also be another one underneath here, which I'll show you in a moment. Okay, screws are removed here. This piece, if you'll notice, is butted up against the edge of this, which is what holds it in place as it is being tightened. So this one will also come out as well. Okay, we're back. The metal piece has been removed. And at this point, you know, the bracket is still in place, but these two are out of place, so they're not going to interfere with removal of these. This rod pulls out easily. This rod, however, does not. Um, and you'll notice that it is bent, and there's no way to get it out of that little tiny hole that it goes through underneath there. So, at this point, everything's going to come off from this direction down here. Um, these guys, here we go, these guys, kind of wiggle them a little bit loose. And at that point... The other side canted just a little bit and I'm trying to do this one-handed where I was using both hands before and then they just slide once you get them canted you've got to get them a little let me let me get this loose where I can okay um, now that I've got this one loose with with both hands notice that when it's sitting straight up perfectly parallel but notice that it will cant just a little bit to one side if I try to move it while it's sitting straight up, it's hard. If I can it just a little bit, it slides really, really easily. 
the end part is just a little bit tough, but other than that, they come off. Um, this hole also is canted just a little bit to get them off a little easier. And it just takes a little bit of time working each one of them off so that it will actually be nice and easy. Um, keeping track of this side where the numbers are. In this case, there are two of these before you hit 80. And then, of course, all the way down. Um, it just takes time to get it denuded. And at that point, then it will just be ready to go into the water and be cleaned. Um, the Bakelite will be cleaned in soap and water. This guy will be cleaned with denatured alcohol and probably a little bit of uh, mineral oil. Thank you.